Hi friend, David here from LearnStageLighting.com. And in this video, I wanna introduce and review a new fixture, the Gamma Starburst Versa, which is an interesting light that I'm not sure I've ever seen anything quite like before. Let's take a look. So the Versa has a number of properties to it. What we've got here is actually two Versas sitting on top of a road case. So this is the first one. It's about uh, three feet or a meter. It has 18 pixel mappable LEDs on it. We'll plug it in here in a second. And then what's magic about this, what's really cool, is there's a second one pinned on top of it. This basically has line array pins, okay? If you've seen these on audio systems, line arrays, other speakers, they're just the pins where you push the center and you're able to pull it out. That's how these fixtures pin together. And so you can add or subtract a number of fixtures together on an included floor base, okay? It's a steel floor base, um, plenty secure for two units. If you did more than that, you could put some sandbags on it, all right? As you can see here in the video, it's running through some automatic programs, fully pixable, six color LED. So red, green, blue, white, amber, and UV. It's blowing out a little bit on camera here, and you can see that this is not just a light for eye candy effects, for visual graphics and pixel maps. It can do that well, and it has different covers that you're able to change out on the front here uh, to get different lens options to have it be stealthy or, or not in this case. This is just a clear one, okay? Uh, moving on to the physical, I want to highlight a couple things about the back and side of it. We've got four button menu system, nice LCD, uh, not just like a four segment LCD, but it's a nice single color LCD with different options in there. A variety of channel modes, so you can keep it in a pretty simple channel mode with just uh, 10 channels, I believe. Or you can go up all the way to 119. Uh, 108 is a straight up pixel mapped mode where it's the 18 segments at six channel each. Okay, you can see here, it really can fill a lot of options on your stage. So you can dim it down, use it for those eye candy effects. You could use it potentially for front light on two corners of the stage. You could use it to highlight a wall, to light a psych or a wall up, okay? Um, which that brings up a few good points. So highlighting the back here, um, let's go ahead and just take one of the units off, okay? So they've got data and power linking between the bars at each end. And if I take a unit off, I can then show you that I can actually flip it upside down. And instead of using it with the floor base, I've got a couple other mounting options, okay? The first is I can actually go ahead and pin it in to this bracket and hang it with a clamp from a truss. Of course, the brackets included the clamps extra like most fixtures, and I can pin that in. And once I do that, I can hang one or multiple units pinned together down below from a single truss, okay? But it doesn't end there. That's why they call it the Versa. Because if I flip it on its front here, I have another clamp, okay? I got a floor trunnion, and with the floor trunnion, I can use these Omega brackets here. I can place it on the floor. I can use an Allen wrench, take the side of this bracket off, and I can hang it from a truss, but sideways instead of vertically. Um, so this is a really interesting new fixture because honestly, I've never seen anything quite like it before. The ability to take this light and be able to put it straight up on its feet, light up a wall or a psych, point it at the audience get those pixel map type effects. And then go ahead, have it on this floor base, have a quick, super easy to roll out ground package where you can shine that towards the audience, run some graphics on it at a low intensity, maybe at times use it brighter and use it as a blinder-like fixture. So it really fills a lot of different voids well. It's a wash light. It could light some sykes of a reasonable height, maybe 20 feet. Uh, it can light walls, it can light entrances. You can use it for graphical effects, shining towards the audience. You can use it to hang and run graphical effects. Pretty much anything you wanna do, this light 
is able to be mounted in a variety of different ways and pointed wherever you need. Now, what comes in the box? Well, in the box, you're going to find the unit itself. You're going to find all the accessories. OK, so each unit has two pins of these uh, quick release pins attached to it. Comes with the metal floor base. It's steel. It's heavy. Comes with the PowerCon input cord. Comes with a short DMX jumper. Um, like I mentioned, PowerCon in and through. Um, the only little gotcha on this guy is it is fan cooled. The fan is slightly audible from a few feet away. It's not excessive. Um, it's definitely equal in loudness to many professional strip lights that have a fan cool. Um, but it's just something to be aware of. If you're in a small room, you need things to be silent. This might not be your pick. But if you're looking for a really versatile effect, something you can hang and mount in a number of different ways and all for the same price, then you might want to give the Gamma Versa a really good look. Um, not only does it look good on the ground, in the air, in haze, um, but you know, start blacking out half of those pixels or the other half, run some cool chases on it, and you'll really get to see what this light is made of. If you're interested in this or anything else we talk about here on the channel, check out more at learnstagelightinggear.com where you can see full info. You can ask us for your pricing and see what the minimum advertised price for them is. Fill out a quote request. Let us uh, be able to drop a quote for you and make sure this is the right light for your needs. With that, I'm David. So great to have you here, and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks.